Hello everybody, welcome in today. I am special guest crafting today on a sweet ladies page, Inspirations by Lisa Ann. And I may also be appearing over in the Craft on the Clock group or on my Sweet Home Living page as well. So hop on in here, tell me hello. I do hope that everything will work for us today. It has been a crazy day with technology today, you guys. So hang tight with me. We're going to see how this works and hopefully uh, everything shows up where it should <laughs> and how it should. And we'll just get on with some fun crafting. Hello, hello. Tell me, tell me hello when you hop on. How about that? Uh, Miss Shelley is the first one I'm seeing on. I am watching comments on my phone today from Lisa's page. And then on here on my iPad, I will be seeing comments on my page, My Sweet Home Living. So either way, no matter where you're watching from, I'll see you in both places. So Alyssa, before we start today, I want to come in uh, before you and ask today, if you would, keep Miss Lisa in your prayers. She has been so, so sick, as well as so many other creators and probably friends and family of yours as well. Please remember them in your prayers because they so need it. Hello, Miss Joy. Hello, Diane. Hello, Miss Lisa. Kisses and hugs to you, sweet lady. We hope you are recovering or getting well, and, and we hope that you are bouncing back better than ever soon. We miss you. We miss our Lisa Ann. Hey, Mary Ann from Kansas. How are you? Okay, so I have two sets of comments today. How cool is that, you guys? I'm seeing comments on my page. I'm, I'm streaming in two different places. I'm here on Lisa Ann's page today filling in for her, but we're also sharing the live stream over to my page, My Sweet Home Living, and to Craft on the Clock. If you are not familiar with either one of those other two pages, you all check us out. Check us out. We would love to have you over there. Hello, Miss Tracy from Michigan. I see Miss Mary from Ocean Breeze and me. Hey, Sarah. That's right. Get well, everybody. We are sending get well wishes to everyone that um, has been sick today. It has been a crazy day, you guys. Crazy. I got a hair like right down in between my glasses and my face. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. So it's been crazy and I've just been running around kind of at the last minute trying to get things together because I've been so consumed with other things this morning. So I have a fun project today and it's kind of a it's kind of a continuation of something I have done on my page. That's right, Miss Shada. Get well, Miss Lisa. Uh, you're so welcome, Miss Lisa. And I'm thanking you uh, for uh, having me and uh, trusting me with your friends here on your page today. Uh, it's always a special treat when I get to see new friends or familiar faces. Either way, I love being on with you guys. Miss Shonda, hello, Miss Lynn, Le not Lynn, Lynn, <laughs> sorry, Marilyn and Tammy and Lori and Sheila. Welcome on in, guys. So let me show you what I have. I kind of have a hodgepodge of stuff. I really don't know what we're going to do with it all today. We're just going to get some things out. And um, what I will tell you, our end result is I want a, I want a vignette with... Um, my nativity type scene that I've created and so if you missed on my page a couple weeks ago the replay still on my page it was it was during an event um, I can't even remember which event it was for now um, but it was for an event and I created I don't know if you all have seen it about a month or two ago I did a mop head angel okay a mop head angel well I took that same idea because everybody went crazy over the mop head angel idea and so I thought, well, how pretty would it be to have a whole series of nativity, um, you know, a nativity scene using sort of the same style of creations. And so even though I auctioned off my angel, it was for a benefit, I auctioned off my angel, but I thought I've got to go ahead and create a Mary and Joseph and uh, a manger and a little nativity scene, um, a little baby Jesus in the manger. So I did this a few weeks ago. So let me, hey, Miss Deborah, how are you? Miss Sue from Living a Heartful Life. How are you, sweet lady? And Deborah, hey, Miss Rose. Rosa, sorry, Julie, thank you. Thank you, I, I won't tell you that I was just blow drying my hair like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> That's how crazy it's been. I waited, I wait till the last minute to do things. I was just, you know how it gets. We're all kind of doing things and the things that we need to do get pushed back and back and back, you know. I know I'm not, can't be the only one that procrastinates. <laughs> anyway, so this Mary and Joseph 
is made out of a Dollar Tree mop head. Okay, this is the Joseph. Um, and just some everyday things that you probably have in your craft stash, you guys. I used an amber bottle for the base, okay? And I wanna put all of these pieces together in a real pretty vignette, but I'm thinking I need some other elements. I'm kinda thinking I want some different heights of some trees uh, around them and, um, and some lights. I gotta have lights. Everything I do, you guys, you know I have to have lights. So that's what we're gonna add. Hey, Miss Denise. Uh, so that's what we're doing. You'll love it, Miss Stephanie, thank you. Hey, Miss Tracy from Scarpie's Rustics. How are you, sweet friend? Okay, so this is what I'm going to be using to kind of house my whole vignette in. And you kind of see my whole color scheme. I'm going real neutral, real earthy, natural, just kind of real earthy tones. Nothing really bright and, and, and bold, okay? It's, everything's really neutral and earthy colored. So I thought my tray kind of needs to match. So this is going to be the base that we're using today. And I'm going to kind of go ahead and put these pieces in here and kind of judge how much size I have. I love putting together vignettes. And so I thought this is the perfect time to play. You all can see how my mind works and thinks when I put things together. And we can kind of talk through the process as we go. Uh, thank you, Miss Sarah. Thank you, Michelle. Um, Thank you, Miss Mary. I'm, I'm loving them. At first, it, it took a while for me to kind of figure out if I like them or not. As I kind of set them on the table, I've, I've looked at them over and over. Now, I do kind of need to tack down uh, Joseph's, um, his, his head um, drape pair. I kind of need to tack that down with a little bit of glue or something. But I think it's just real simple and subtle. It's not anything over the top. Um, and so I thought, well, the other elements that I want to put in here, I kind of want them to match. If I have any color whatsoever, I want to have just a little bit of greenery, just real simple greenery around the bottom, probably around the edge. So what I'm thinking, I've got several ideas. I could use just a basic like greenery Christmas wreath, or I could use something like a grapevine wreath. This was my first thought. Um, so here's an idea. There's one, and I'm not sure that this is big enough. Or this was the other idea, and I think this might be too big, which would be a, a basic greenery Christmas wreath, which I think this is a little too much. I think it kind of takes away from the whole scheme here. So I'm going to see if, how this fits in here first. Let me take them off, and let me just judge size-wise how this fits in this tray, because this may be too small. And if so... I've got another option. Um, okay, so here's how it fits in this tray. Let me hold this up so we can walk through it together. Thank you, Miss Ida, for sprinkling. Miss Sherry from Kirby Ladies Crafting, how are you? Uh, so we do have a little bit of space around the outside edge, which I think we might be able to get away with. But how beautiful are those wood tones on wood tones, you guys? I just, I'm such a sucker for browns. <laughs> I love browns, hence why I love the coffee grounds so much, I guess. Um, so let me set these in here and let's see what kind of room we have to work with. I know whatever trees we make, we're probably gonna have to sit around on the top, on the back side of this green or on grapevine wreath. But I think we can fit all three of these. Ooh, there went baby Jesus. I think we can fit all three of these items. These are these are the focal points, so that's that's okay. I want them definitely in the center. So let me hold that up and show you guys. That's what we have so far. Doesn't that look so woodsy and natural? I love that. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to use, I'm going to go ahead while I'm think before we start layering things on top, I'm going to go ahead and add the twinkles. Hey, Miss Penny from Remake It Pretty. How are you? Thank you, Michelle, for sprinkling us out. I know Miss Lisa Ann is going to appreciate that so much. You may be catching us in one or two places, actually one of three places right now while we're live, or you may be watching us on the replay later, um, also on YouTube. But either way, um, we'd love to see your comments below. And I am seeing comments on both pages today. Sorry, I'm shaking this. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let me, I've got three strands of lights here. When you know I'd knock off the one that I really need first. Okay, so let me go with this. These, I'm 
just gonna drop that. Might need that later. These are the little twinkle lights. I love using these little things. They're brown wire, which was gonna blend in nicely with what we have going on. Let me tilt my camera down just a little bit. It's gonna blend in nicely with what we have going on on the tray. Let's tilt it this way. My camera's just being a little contrary today. Okay, so I want the twinkle around the base of that wreath. And then, you know what I think I'm even gonna do is I'm gonna bring a little bit of light up around the manger, okay? Um, that's right, Miss Dee, we gotta get that camera down a smidge. I want you guys to see what this is gonna look like. Uh, okay, let me plug this in. I've got an extension cord over here that's buried under Hobby Lobby bags. No, we don't want any fire hazards today. <laughs> no fire hazards around. Okay, so I'm gonna have my cord going out the back. Okay, so I probably should have taken these lights around this wreath probably before I put it down. We could still do that. Let's do that. I think that'll be easier to keep the lights intact. That's, this is just me working it through my brain, you guys. <laughs> I have not planned this out. It is literally off the cuff. Um, I've been thinking about it, how I was going to do it, but I have not actually executed it or tested it, is what I should say, um, to see if it would actually work. So you guys are coming along for the ride here. Now I still have my little Hobby Lobby price tag on here. Let's knock that off. Okay. Now, I'm just, I love these teeny lights because they're subtle. Now, if you like twinkle lights, twinkle lights would work great too. I have a love-hate relationship with twinkle lights because of the wires. The wire gets tangled, you guys. It gets tangled so bad. And it's almost like once you use them once, <laughs> good luck getting them off or reusing them for anything else, right? Okay. I like it on this side because this has a few little green dried leaves that I really like. It's just a real subtle. Isn't that nice? Nothing over the top. And those little light bulbs are small. So if we used a regular standard Christmas strand of lights, these would be really bulky. The lights would be. Okay. And that brown just kind of blends right in with that grapevine wreath. Uh, let's see. I, let's see. Do you sell my crafts? Um, let's see, Sue. I don't. I, occasionally, I will auction one off or have a silent auction on my page on on a particular item, but I, I'm not usually. I don't usually sell them. I don't. Um, I've had several people reach out to me asking if I would make something, uh, you know, specific for them. And sometimes I can, but I, a lot of times I just don't have time. I hate it, um, but I just don't. But I, I hope that I give you good enough directions that you can recreate some of these things on your own. That's, that's my ultimate goal. Okay, so I like her little, um, her little drape to kind of hang over those lights. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Okay, and then let's put um, the little manger right back down in here. That's that's sweet, and I like the subtleness of those lights. Now we're not finished. We gotta we gotta create some um, we gotta create some more height with some trees of some sort around here. I also do have a little bit of greenery. I think I want to tuck in around this grapevine. So we'll see how this goes. Um, so I've just got a basic pine greenery pick. See where we kind of have this little gap right here? I think that's going to be perfect for me to tuck in some little sprigs of, um, of greens just to give it a little more woodsy look. It's nothing over the top. I want to make sure you guys can see this. Let me scoot it back a little bit. There we go. How about that? All right, I'm going to put another. I'm just going to space them out. Just a little bit around the edge. Ah, uh, thank you, Miss Jennifer. Hey, Leona. Hey, Miss Debbie. Sorry, I'm trying to cut this without getting it in front of the camera. <laughs> These big projects are, they're a challenge sometimes to get everything in view and for you guys to get a close up enough view to see everything. So, all right. And I am placing these all in the same direction around. 
okay so there we go that's what we have just something real simple just a little extra greenery I love having the touch of green in almost anything and everything I make you guys especially when it comes to putting together arrangements or vignettes I just have to have a little bit of green um, thank you miss Tammy how are you thank you miss Stephanie I think so too and I you know where would you use this okay what well, mine does have a cord you could totally use battery operated lights I'm not a huge fan of battery operated lights because I like to leave my lights on all the time and you know batteries run out <laughs> so what I will probably do is set this on a side table um, like an entryway table okay or a buffet somewhere where I can take the strings and, and the, you know the cord out the back you know behind a cabinet and so that it's not seen okay all right so now here's the thing we need to decide on and it all will depend on how much room we have <laughs> okay so oh, sorry my fur baby's under the table didn't realize he was there I just booted him in the booty okay there we go now here I have several options and I don't know we might need one we might need more than one I don't know so let's see let me tilt this back up just a little bit so you can so I can see you guys for a little bit thank you miss Betty uh, so I have this which I think really kind of ties in a lot with our color scheme and you know what you know now that I'm sitting here looking at it I wouldn't have to have all of these pieces together in this tray so if I did display this on let's say an entryway table I could just have some trees scattered to the side <coughs> excuse me I could just have them off to the side it doesn't necessarily have to be in this tray you guys I was thinking I wanted them all in the tray but I don't think they're gonna fit and I don't want them to take away from from the scene I don't know we may not do anything like that I don't know okay I don't know <laughs> I'm looking at this thinking oh gosh I like the way it is right now I don't know if I need a tree Oh, my brain you guys okay let's slide this over and let's see so let's just make a tree that will work that will coordinate with it how about that it doesn't have to necessarily be used with it so here's our options I'm throwing stuff around you guys I'm gonna put the lid on my coffee grinch because I know I'm gonna knock that over I warmed it up and had it to the brought to the table so if I needed it it would be ready because I really kind of thought I was gonna make a tree and kind of grunge it up but I think I'm liking this better because it ties in with the great uh, the grapevine wreath so we'll see um, did I did I did make the uh, the Mary and the Joseph I sure did um, it's on my page you would have to go back a few weeks ago if you go to my video collection on my sweet home livings page you'll find the replay on that um, I was wearing a pine green colored shirt I'll tell you that so that'll be easier for you to remember but if you go to my video collection all of my videos have the title of the project um, they're all labeled so you can find them easier uh, the replay so uh, I think I put I think I just called it a three-piece nativity set I think is what I called this one I also made the angel <laughs> which I don't have anymore so I'm gonna have to make me another angel you guys which while I'm thinking about it let me show you something I'm so sorry I had to get a drink I don't like to drink on camera but I had to because I don't want to start coughing uh, a couple weeks ago when a couple of us ladies our creators we went um, let me grab this hold on <laughs> I gotta dig it out over here you guys I got a big pile um, we went to uh, we went to the barn sale trail and we kind of go junking and thrifting and things like that well if probably a lot of you probably that follow my page you probably saw uh, some things that I posted as we were shopping and picking and going places uh, it's in West Kentucky and Southern Illinois where we go every um, October okay it's usually the second week not October November usually the second weekend in November but look what I found at the junk store <laughs> now can you not tell me that's gonna make a beautiful angel this is some sort of I don't know if this was an old candlestick weather vane I really don't know what or how this was put together 
But I was thinking this would make a beautiful base for an angel. I would just need a head and then make her bodice. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, if I make an angel, um, I could put that little manger in the front of that wreath. I know you guys can't see that. I, or I could just uh, stand her up. I want her, I want her really tall. What I might do, I see if I have some other little pedestal to put under this to really prop it up and make an angel that would go over the back and center of this. I love this piece. I mean, it's good and grungy and it's already got the patina to it. I mean, can you believe that? As soon as I saw that, I thought, oh, that's the makings of an, a beautiful angel. So I'm going to be working that up probably in the next week or so. So y'all stay tuned um, on my page. I may be even doing it tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> I'm going to be live on my page, My Sweet Home Living, um, on my page in the morning at 1030 Central, 1030 a.m. Central. So um, if I can get a plan together for that, that may be what we do. Okay. All right, so I just have a Pitberry Garland here, you guys. Nothing fancy, but look at the colors. It's got all the good colors that we already have going through our little nativity set. So this is gonna make the perfect combination. Oh, I'm pulling off the berries. I don't wanna do that. I'm just kind of straightening up some of these little uh, vines because I want them kind of wispy looking. Let me slide this nativity set over a little bit. I've decided I'm not going to use these. Thought I was going to use them, but I don't think I'm going to. Don't think I'm going to. They just don't seem to fit the feel that I'm going for. So we're going to use this one. I don't even think I need my glue gun, so I'm going to slide it over. I am going to use this Pitberry Garland and a strand of lights. Got to have lights, you guys. Now, do you think the lights would take away? I don't think so. I don't think so. Do you think the lights, if I had a light, lights, a small strand of lights on this tree, would they take away from the little nativity, the little manger scene? Um... I think if I go with a small strand, I think we'll be good. Hold tight, you guys. <laughs> I pulled these off my tobacco stick tree earlier because I was uh, redecorating it with a different strand. And so I pulled these off, and now they're like all twisted and tangled. That's my long strand that I don't need. I need this little short strand. I love these little short ones. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on my tree first. And it has a little loop at the end. Okay, so I'm just going to put that at the top of my tree. Uh, let me see. You don't think the lights will take away? Good. Oh, thank you. Oh, Miss Jolene. <laughs> uh, are you from Kentucky too? I've seen her comment on my page. Um, she says, I love to watch you. You have awesome crafts. Maybe because you're from Kentucky. <laughs> She's being funny. She's being funny. She must be a Kentucky friend. All right. So I'm going to take this va or this uh, light strand garland, or not garland, just this light strand. Okay. I don't have a lot of lights to work with, so I just want to even them out over this tree. I could keep it really subtle and just leave it with the lights. I mean, maybe this pitberry garland would be too much. That's a thought. That's a thought. We might hold it on there and see in just a minute. I don't want a lot of lights. I just want it to be really subtle, you guys. I don't want don't want it to take away. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the inside of this. I'm going to take this little light plug and I'm going to stick it inside there. See how I'm sticking that in? Um, hello, Miss Catherine. Hey, Erica. Let's see. Maybe if you put the lights on the inside, so they, that's a great idea, Yvonne. That's a great idea. Um, we'll see. We'll see what we get here in just a minute. And if, if I think it's too much, that's definitely a great idea. We could definitely do that. I'm thinking since these little, these are little teeny lights and they're so small and I'm not going to have very many, I'm hoping that it'll be just, just fine. Okay, now let's plug this in and see what we have. Then, too, if I covered it with the pit berries, it would even kind of cover the lights a little bit more. So 
doesn't have a lot of light on it. Doesn't have a whole lot of light on it. Okay, so it's real subtle. And then what I would probably do is take these pit berries. Now this is just a test. Let's see if we like these pit berries on here. I'm gonna twist, this is a wire garland, so it makes it super easy. I've got cords running everywhere. <laughs> okay, so oh, I keep grabbing my light cord. Oh, hang on, I see what the problem is. I need about two more hands. Anybody else have that problem? <laughs> Let me get this under this cord and then we'll be, we'll be smooth sailing from there, I think. Yeah, here we go. Now, let's take this and wrap it around. And then we can adjust the little strings as we go after we get it on kind of like fluffing a real tree like a, a Christmas tree we can fluff this little berry garland here in a moment okay I am going to try to use this whole garland because I don't want to cut into this garland because I like to use these garlands for all kinds of things and if I ever want to reuse it for something else I can do so I'm just going to tuck the end right inside there and wrap it okay so now let's adjust and let's fluff the pip berries and let's see what we get let's see what we get and then i'm thinking to tie this in even more to help it coordinate with our nativity set what i could do okay i'm liking that it's a little different a little different. I think what I'm going to do is take some of this cheesecloth. This will match and coordinate with the cheesecloth that we have on um, Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus here. So I think what I'll do is I'll take this and then I'll kind of wrap this in the areas where the garland doesn't go on the tree, if that makes sense, in between the garland. And this will kind of soften it, maybe. We'll see, we'll spread that out as we go. So, all of these colors are just real subtle and soft neutrals. So this would go with any kind of decoration, honestly. Unless you like bright, bold colors, it's definitely not gonna be your thing. <laughs> But you could, just based on different color choices or material choices or embellishment choices, you could totally do this same idea and make it a completely different style. This is just more my style, <laughs> right? Uh, I'm missing some, I think miss the comments. Hey, thank you, Miss Dini. The comments on Miss Lisa's page have stopped for me. There we go. Diana says she loves that pitberry garland. I love it too. And you'll think about this tree. You could use this all year long. You know, this is not necessarily just for Christmas, this tree. Okay. And then I think some rusty stars would look amazing. Of course, we need a rusty star at the top. I did not bring my rusty stars to the table. So I'll have to add that afterwards today. This is just a piece of coffee stained cheesecloth. And that, how about that? That was like the perfect length. And I can even tie it in the back to keep it in place. Ah! Okay, now let's kind of fluff it. Where it's kind of bunched up, I'm gonna fluff it. Let me bring this over here so you guys can see what we're doing. All right, I'm just gonna spread that cheesecloth apart so that it looks like it's just laying on there so softly. And I like it because the light, it kind of mutes the lights, yes. And it looks delicate. I don't know how to explain it. 
I love it. Just a soft look. Um, let's see. Hey, Miss Jackie. Hey, Miss Mary. Victoria. Uh, I see your comments. Yes, I don't know who that was, but I see them. The name. I didn't get to see the name. I would have to press and hold on it a little bit longer to get the name to pop up. But I saw somebody's comment. Now it just needs a good rusty star up there at the top. I love that. Now I've got a little bit too much right here. I could make, now why did I, oh, that's probably the back. My garland. This probably needs to be the front, don't you think? I love that. I love it so much. Yeah, so just get the view, the view that you like. Get a rusty star. Now, if you wanted to, you could, you could use red pit berries. If you wanted to make this, you know, scream Christmas, you totally could. If you wanted to, you could add some sprigs of green on there. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna. I think I like it just the way it is. Now, how cool would this be to have a set of three of these and kind of stagger them around your manger scene? I think I just need a bigger tray. Let's just see if I can't tuck this in the back. Let's just see. Let's just see. Oh, yes. That would be so pretty. That would be really pretty. Let me see here. I might kind of have to tie it, anchor it down to that grapevine base that we had on there. Let's tilt it this way. There we go. Okay, I think I need some of these in a smaller size. I need three different sizes maybe. So I could put a small one over here, right here, and then another small one right here. And I could anchor them down to that grapevine base that we have right here. See that? I could anchor them down, tie them down with a little bit of floral wire, and that would be amazing. I think I love it. I think I love it. Now, I just need to add that little star at the top, and I think this will be a good little finished set. Now, obviously, if I wanted to do an angel, I would probably put my trees off to the side and put my angel right here. I can put this little light at the top of my tree and put that little star right in front of it. But I think that is super cute. How about that? I love it, you guys. I love it. So, I mean, really, the project for the Mary and Joseph, I used two amber glass bottles. Now, these were just something that I had found at the antique store. I don't think they're antique bottles, but you can find any kind of anything to put those on. See those bottles? And took the mop heads and made the Mary and the Joseph. I made them a little bit different with their head pieces. Um, you can see that's really kind of just what sets them apart is the height difference. This is a taller bottle for Joseph. This is a shorter bottle for Mary, of course. And then I just did the drapings and the heads, you know, the, the hair a little bit different. Now, I did for Joseph let me tell you what I did for his staff. <laughs> his staff, I took one of those uh, disposable metal like baking pans and I cut, you know, the rim, the edge uh, around the top rim edge of one of those pans. I cut that off to the length that I needed and I curled it at the top. And then of course I cut it off at the right height that I needed, but that's his staff. Is that not cool? Um, and for Mary, I think what I need for her, I had some little lace ribbons just to make her a little more uh, delicate looking. I used some lace ribbons, but I want a little heart. I want a little wooden heart cut out. And I may, what I might do is just use that same little metal baking pan and cut out a little heart shape and rest it up and, and put that right where her hands are. I think that would be sweet to have a little heart um, on her. I put the little star on Joseph. I just think that, you know, symbolizing the, you know, the star, um, and then I think a little heart on her would be perfect. Now, the other thing that I thought about doing, and my light string wasn't quite long enough, I wanted a little bit of a glow in um, baby Jesus' little manger. I kind of wanted a little bit of a soft glow from his manger, so I don't know how I'm going to do that. Um, I might have another short strand of lights, I might use that and, and put it around the 
in the center, just kind of twine, intertwine it in there, and then bring some up and just lay some under. Let me show you this little uh, manger. His little manger scene right here, his little manger, not scene, but um, all I've done is I've taken one of those wooden crates from the Dollar Tree, you guys, and I gave it some stain, okay, and then uh, stuffed it with cotton, and then I put some burlap. The little crates have a little hole, a little handle right here. I stuffed it with a little bit of burlap to cover that because I didn't want the cotton to show. And then over top the cotton, I, I put just a layer of uh, coffee stained muslin material on there. Anything will work as long as you kind of grunge it up and make it match your color scheme. Then over top that, I layered it with a rect you know, rectangular piece of burlap. And then on top of that, I used a little bit of raffia, raffia, whatever you want to call it. And I coffee grunged that to kind of dull down the brightness a little bit. And then um, Baby Jesus, I think, was actually just a wooden clothespin or a bundle of burlap that I re-wrapped with uh, some cheesecloth, okay? So, and, and, and the little head is it's the same material that the woven jute twine um, for him. It's just bundled up. Okay, now the ends that I did for these, I used popsicle craft sticks, the big ones, and crisscrossed those and glued those on to the ends. Okay, so that was pretty simple for that little, for that little manger, right? So nothing on this was super expensive. Probably what cost the most may have been this little grapevine tree. So now you could um, totally get creative or catch it on sale, right? Um, or if you may already have something in your stash that might work better, you can do that. Um, but I think it's just a real pretty set, just a real pretty subtle, neutral, and I think it could go with any, any kind of color scheme that you go with. Um, so, anyway, <laughs> tell me what you think. I want to see if what you think, what, if you think it's something that you can recreate. If you want to rewatch the video of how I did the mop, um, the mop head Mary and Joseph or the mop head angel, they are on my Sweet Home Living Facebook page. Or you can go to my YouTube channel, either one. Uh, they are there. Okay? Um, uh, thank you, Miss Deborah. I'm so glad that you love it. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Addie. Okay, what'd you say? Um, Donna says, I would use the tree out all year round. I think you totally could use the tree all year round. Absolutely. Especially if you love primitive and country crafts. Absolutely. I do want to add some rusty stars to that tree, though. I don't know why it's just screaming it needs a rusty star to me. <laughs> uh, sure, at the top, but then, you know, I think, I think it needs a few, like, mixed in with the garland. I don't know, just a little bit of extra texture. Thank you, Miss Carla. Thank you, Wanda, Carol, Debbie. I appreciate you all so much for being here today. Uh, if you are watching on Miss Lisa's page, you all send her your love and let her know that we are keeping her in our thoughts and prayers, and she will be back soon, you guys. I will be live on my page and in Craft on the Clock group tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. Central. We'll see what we get into. I don't have a project planned yet. We could do another angel. Um, or we could do something totally different. I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned. We have another crafter coming up in about two or three minutes over in the Craft on the Clock group. You all go check her out. It's Miss Deb from Deb's New Again. And then we have crafting all day from Monday through Friday, early morning till late at night. We go all the way up until 10 p.m. Sorry, my alarm was going off telling me it's time. It's time to get off. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining me today. Until next time, take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.